So right now we're just going to mess around uh, a little bit with lists. Here you can see um, the full uh, list Python file from uh, the last video. And in this video we're going to mess around with just, just a few of the functions. It's just a little bit of practice. Um, I may not demonstrate every single function that we went through or every single uh, method of manipulating a list that we went through, but I will go through a few of them. So let's first make a list called elf names and we'll give it a few values i don't know uh i mean i know a lot of south americans now so i'll add some latino names jose fernandez fernandez um la maria we'll just put maria and a few uh elfish sounding names Skven. <laughs> I don't even know how you say that. It's probably Svensvar. Nejard. Ah, uh, yeah. Gvald. Oops. See that there? That wasn't quite uh, what we wanted. So, I've made my elf names. And let's print that out quickly. Yeah, there we are. And now I'm going to show how the uh, copy function works. So we're going to say elf names two equals elf underscore names dot copy. All right. And we're going to quickly print out elf underscore names two. Oh, to make sure that it's the same list. And Jose, Fernandez, Maria, Skiven, Nichard, Skvald. Yep, they're all the same names, so it's got all the same values inside the list. Now I want to edit the list. I'm going to make elf names 2, uh, 1, which would be Fernandez. I'm going to change that name to be... Mm. Sirius, okay, Sirius, and I'm going to change Skaven, which would be Elf underscore names two. That would be Elf names two two, and we're going to change that Skaven to uh, hmm, Sophia maybe, Sophia. And now we should see that there's a change. Uh, from the original. So if we look here, this is the original and elf names two. So Fernandez is now Sirius and Maria is now Sophia. Oh, I was supposed to delete Skaven. Doesn't matter. All that really matters is that I've deleted one and turned it into another. Okay. If we look at elf names, the original, the original still has all of uh, the original values in it. And you can see here. That this is the value of copy so let's say i decide to use in my final piece of this program i decide to use elf names too that's fine we didn't need to copy elf names but let's say after editing elf names too i decide you know what i think we'll stick with the original names then i've still got the original and i can just delete or not use the copy whereas if i didn't want to use the uh, second list and I didn't have the first list, I'd have to remake the first list. I'd have to do it all over again. So that is really the value of copying a list. Okay. We're going to make a new list. We're going to make a list. Um, we'll call it values list. It doesn't really matter what values this contains, by the way. It just can contain anything, really. Doesn't really matter. Lop, uh, a number, another number, mm, a true value, false value. That'll do. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter what it contains. Run that. Just check that that is good. Values list. What? Oh, I need to print it. Really. Print values list there we go so that's been processed that's great 
Now, what do I want to do? Mm, you know what? I think I want to put a list inside of there. So I'm going to show you. Remember how we use the insert or how we can uh, change one of these values? I'm actually going to change the false value. So this is this last value here of the values list. So we'll put values list minus one to grab the last item. And we're going to turn that into the entire list in elf names two. Let's see how that works out. Might not, maybe I've got it wrong. Okay, so I'm going to print values list here. And what we should see is we should see all of the items are originally put in values list apart from false. And where this, this false actually is, we should see an entire new list instead. So we have the entirety of elf names two as a list in index number four, which was a value false, a Boolean value false. So we can actually add in, yeah, an entire, an entire list if we want to. I could have inserted that list as well. So let's say valueless list dot insert. And we'll insert at, I don't know, we'll insert at zero, yeah? We'll insert at zero. What do we want to insert is the question. Let's say, maybe let's just insert itself into itself. Yeah, this is totally possible. And we should see the first item should be values list itself. I know that seems complex, but I'm basically just showing you these kind of uh, things are possible just to give you an idea of just what you can do. So it hasn't actually printed uh, this this zero index out, probably because it's too large. So I could just print out values list zero just to see. Nope, it just it's it still hasn't really printed anything there. That's odd. I'll be honest. That's very strange. Um, I mean, I suppose that is value list zero. So I guess that is weird. Well, oh, not so sure why that is, but whatever. And maybe you can't insert yourself into yourself. So we'll insert elf names, I guess. Elf names too. Or we'll just actually we'll make. We'll make index zero now equal to elf names two because it kind of makes sense to illustrate it better to put another list in there. That weird display is probably not because it hasn't worked. It's more likely uh, just that spider won't display it in a proper way that it should be displayed. So here we here we can see that I've added the entire list there into this list. Oh no, it will display it. It's just that this this is too big to display, I guess. For some reason it didn't print, you know, just the index zero. That was odd. I'll try it again. We'll try it again. We'll have a look, shall we? See, I'm learning here. But this is this is the great thing, just about messing around, uh, just with code in general. You know, you you always find new things out. No, so it would it did print out here. It did print out here. Oh, I understand. I understand now. Yeah, yeah. It's basically printed out the whole list out. I, I don't know why it's printed this out. But if we were to print the whole of values list outside of that, it would have printed out everything. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit puzzled by that. But anyway, just showing inserts. You know what? All this stuff, it's really puzzling me. I regret doing it. I really regret doing it, you know. I shouldn't have tried to do something too complicated. So... I'm going to just turn that into something else. Yeah, I'm just going to turn that into a non-value. Or I might turn it into a space, in fact. So that the first value is a space. Just make values this nice and simple again. Not sure if it comes out. There we are. There we are. Value this is a space. Nice and simple. That's all I wanted. Now then values list dot remove to remove an item um what do i want to remove i think i want to remove uh a space so that should remove index zero 
and if we look at values list again we should see that index 0 is gone and we should start at lop and there we are because I've removed the space from the values list yeah so there's plenty you can do here maybe uh, maybe I've decided I want to reverse the order of values list dot reverse this should work I don't know if it will though might not might not put it in reverse order this is something that I don't do very often um, we'll just print we'll just copy and paste that print statement actually just to see that and here we go lop was at first 99 there we've totally reversed the order and let's say you know what let's just start again we're sick of these values here values list dot clear should delete it all delete every single thing in the list so the list will still exist but when you come to print out the list you'll actually find the uh, list is just those two square brackets um, which basically resembles an empty list and there you are yeah that was just a small you know just a small example of code just kind of putting a few things here just giving you an idea of what to do you know just the idea is that you you, you got you guys who are watching this just kind of you know get inspired to make make your own code mess around with the code like i did there you know i did something i didn't really understand i'll have to investigate that outside of this video but if i if i hadn't have messed around with the code i'd have never have understood it and because i messed around with the code i have a better understanding of the values list you know it's forcing me to have an inherent understanding of it of, of lists sorry anyways hope you enjoyed thanks for watching